Hey, I'm Derek with Used Photo Pro. Today, we're going to talk about how to load film into a Leica Barnack screw mount style camera or any of its numerous copies and clones made from countries such as Japan, Russia, France, America, etc. Any camera that uses a bottom base plate loading system instead of a hinged back door. Step one, because these cameras don't have an opening back door, we will be threading the tongue of the film leader through this gap between the film gate and the pressure plate. To make sure that the film doesn't get stuck on the far edge of the film gate, we will need to cut the leader. The easiest way to do this is with a template. Leica made these, and occasionally we have them for sale in used Photo Pro. Alternatively, 3D templates can be downloaded online and printed for you to use, as I have done here. If you do not have or do not wish to use a template, you can cut the leader tongue without one to the same shape as one would cut by counting back either 13 holes on the short edge of the leader or 24 holes from the top of the leader and then go to the bottom. With the template, all you have to do is run a knife along the cutting edge. Now the tongue of the leader is cut so it won't get stuck on the far edge of the film gate as we thread it between the pressure plate. At this stage, rewind the film into the canister so that only two sprocket holes next to the curve remain visible. With our film leader cut, it's time to load the film into the camera. Flip it upside down and remove the base plate. A reminder of how to load the camera will be visible inside most cameras that require this style of loading. In one side of the camera will be the film take-up spool. Pull it out and set the camera aside for a moment. The film take-up spool will have a retaining clip on one end. Take your prepared film and place it emulsion or mat side up. The end of the tongue will slip under the clip on the film take-up spool. Remember to make sure that only two sprocket holes at most remain visible when you are done with this process. With the film prepared in the take-up spool and the canister, we are going to insert both at the same time, threading the cut end of the film through the slot. Once it's inserted, be careful to assure that the sprocket holes are resting on the advanced gear mechanism seen on the side with the take-up spool. You'll have to look inside the camera body to see these clearly. With the canister and the take-up spool inserted, verifying that the teeth are slipping over the advance gear. Turn the advance gear just a little bit to make sure that you're continuing to be picked up by the teeth. Replace the film back. Take the rewind spool and turn it in the direction of the arrow until tension is felt to pick up the extra slack in the spool. Now, while you advance the film, you should be able to observe the rewind spool moving as the film advances. This will let you know that you're still pulling the film across the gate. Go ahead and finish advancing the frame. Fire the shutter. Do that another two times. Note that as I am advancing, this dial is also spinning. Three frames advanced. Go ahead and set the indicator to zero, and you're ready to shoot. And thanks again. This has been Derek Martin with Used Photo Pro, and that's how to load a Barnack Leica.